Hi, my name is Monique and this is my 366 neurovascular assessment video. I have already performed hand hygiene and I am going to don my gloves. Hi, hello, my name is Monique and I'll be your nurse today. Can you please tell me your name and date of birth? Yes, Jane Doe, 528, 1963. Okay, so first I would like to test your primary senses to pain stimuli, okay? Mm -hmm. This is just going to test the superficial response, okay? Okay. So you're going to tell me whether you feel a sharp or dull sensation, okay? Mm -hmm. May I begin? Yes. Okay. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. All right. And then so I'm going to test your, um, the direction of your finger. This is going to evaluate the perception and the, the your sense of position, okay? All right. Can you begin? Mm -hmm. Okay. Left. Up, down. All right. And then so I'm going to place an object in your hand. And you're going to tell me the object that I put in your hand. But you're going to close your eyes, okay? Can you put your hand out facing up? Okay. And. Correct. All right. And now we're going to do a two-point discrimination. Can I please have you close your eyes? And you're going to tell me whether you feel one point or two, okay? One. Two. All right. So then I'm going to draw a letter in the palm of your hand. You're going to keep your eyes closed, and you're going to tell me the letter that I have drawn in your hand. That's a T. Okay. And I'm going to draw a number in your hand. You're going to tell me the number. Seven. All right. And then I'm going to touch you. Keep your eyes closed, please. And you're going to tell me the location that I touched, okay? Shoulder. Okay. And now I would like to test your, uh, your biceps and your patella. You're going to tell me, um, no, you're not going to tell me, your body's going to tell me whether you have hyperactive or normal active responses to your patella or to your biceps, sorry, or to your patella, okay? So I'm going to use my reflex hammer and I'm going to hit your triceps, okay? Biceps. Biceps. Okay, and then your patella, okay? I'm going to hold the back and support it. Okay, and that is normal active. If it were hyperactive, then it would bounce a little bit more. And then so now I want to test the um, your plantar reflex, okay? So I'm going to have you extend your foot. And then I'm going to use the bottom of this and I'm going to strike your foot up. I'm going to just move the camera back so that we can visualize. So the response is either going to be your feet will fan out or fan up. If your feet fan up, then that is um, abnormal and that is a Babinski, okay? Sorry if you're ticklish. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Tickle, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, so now I'm going to test your cerebral, uh, cerebral function and proprioception. So what that is, um, I'm going to have you close your eyes. You're going to put your hand on your nose. You can keep your eyes open. But put your hand on your nose and then you'll touch my finger, okay? okay? Put your hand on your nose and then touch my finger. Put your hand on your nose and then touch my finger. Put your hand on my nose and then touch my finger. Put your hand on your nose and touch my finger. 
All right, so um, we are gonna check for ankle clonus. That is another um, test we use to test your tendons for hyperactivity. Um, and I'm going to flex your foot inward. Mm -hmm. And then if your foot bounces a lot, then that is a sign of ankle clonus, okay? All right, are you comfortable? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then next we're going to evaluate um, your coordination of your hands. So I'm going to have you turn your hands over on your, you're going to put them over on your lap and you're going to do this several times. Okay, all right. And then so after that, um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get the steps right. We are going to do a Romberg test. So you're going to stand up and I'm going to test your balance. Okay. All right. So you can sit back down. And then so also with your um, proprioception, I want to test to see if you are able to put your foot onto your, to raise it up to your leg. You're going to do it on both legs. So you're going to like let it touch here. You're going to like touch here and go up and down. And then do it with your other leg. walk straight. I'm going to test your gait to see if you have any um, shuffling or any unbalance. So you're going to walk forward and then walk back to your chair. Okay, okay so your gait is steady and that will conclude this. I'm going to remove my gloves and perform hand hygiene again. Thank you very much.